Bloggers Pow. Right, it's time to have a look at four weird games. Right, first off we have Trio the Punch. An arcade game from Data East, as you can see from there. So, you select a character. You've got Ninja, Baseball Cap and Conan. We're going to go Ninja. And this is a sideways scroll. Oh, I've just used my special. I did not mean to do that. This is a sideways scrolling crazy em up. And look at the little car knobs, stuck car knobs. You're going to collect a certain amount of hearts per, per thing. And oh, I turned into a log. Uh, ninjas turn into logs a lot. Okay. I can't remember how to do this. And you can bounce on the car knob, who seems to be just. Is that what? Foot goo? Did I tell you this was mad? And dump in his head until he's done. Probably, I don't know. There we go. And win win. And then you've got this roulette thing. Hit the buttons, get the roulette, and one, you get a life up. Lucky, cha cha cha, says that man with the hat. Did I mention this was potty? Completely bonkers, off its tits. Next, peeking, right, and I think I... and that guy's planking upside down. What is this, that gourmet game? Right, yep. And get the hell part, and then you fight the fist. Where have I gone? Oh, there I am. And it's absolutely completely stupid. Um, oh, that's it. I'm bouncing on top of the fist because that's a thing. And we're making good progress against this fist. One more hit to do it and then we'll go on to another stage and more weird stuff will happen. Or we'll just get squashed by the fist because we completely mistimed it. Oh, gee, you've got time, baby. Oh, there we go. One shuriken to the fist, win win. Let's play the roulette game again. Five, unlucky. Bad choice. A little sort of luck more than anything else. Next eight, get three hearts. Oh, well, there's one of them. Can I? No. Oh, what is going on now? And there will be another heart. And there's me turning for log. I'm, I'm running out of energy here. Just stab one of these and we'll get a heart out of it. There we go. And we are now attacked by bizarre skeleton things. I feel it continues in my near future. Yep, win win again. What's next? Well, we're going to win too. A main up. What am I main up? Is that a path or something? Who knows? Right, four hearts this time. Oh, lost. Okay, well, can we continue? Yeah, well, <laughs> yes, we can. Oh, I've got poisoned. Right, one more heart left to go. You can only seem to use the shurikens while you're jumping. This is very unusual. Poisoned again. Is that a heart? Yes. Right, so we're on to... Well, the boss appears to be these... flying dragony wagony things. got rid of one of them. Yeah, absolutely bonkers this game. 
what we're going to win this time. Another unlucky, bad choice for me. Right, Curse of Sheeps. Do I have to collect any hearts this time? Look at this. There is the said, said sheep in question. Lost, I curse you. Okay, right, let's just one more continue. Oh, and now I'm a sheep. There we go. That is what the curse of sheeps was. Don't know why the sheeps are like bubblegum pink, but. But we appear to be doing some damage to it, looking at the. Uh, Yep, there we go. Fantastic. And I, I curse you again. And what do we win? A life up. That's sort of handy. Lucky cha cha cha. And I'm still sheep. I wonder how long this curse actually lasts. Now, I must admit, the uh, bouncing mini sheeps are very, very useful. We're covering the screen and, well, Little furry firepower. Willy firepower? Yeah, we'll go with willy firepower. Need one more heart. Oh, there it is. And now we've got a boss, which is some kind of crazy totem pole thing. Which is almost already dead. Well, that was an unusual boss. Now, this game does... I think gone for absolutely ages. I did play it with my brother a few years ago, like almost seemed like for an entire day. Complete waste of our lives. But it was quite amusing and we did get drunk. So that's nice. Tortoise. Yeah, don't do that. I will anyway. I have no idea what we're doing now with the tortoises. You found me out. Oh, it's the guy from the... Oh, God, he's gone crazy. Main up. Right. Last stage before we move along. This is just so strange. Oh, what is going on? The... Arnold's are inflated and I've lost. So there we go. Tree as a punch. That's absolutely insane. Crazy batshit madness. Love it. All right, next stop is Animal Attack Academy, aka Animal Attack Gakuen. Can you tell what this looks like yet? Let's have a look. That's right, it's base area, but with a girl. And it says animal attack because all the things you shoot are animals, apart from these mines. This is in itself odd, but sure. What have we got first? What's that? A kangaroo? I think it was a kangaroo. Here comes some more. Die kangaroos. Now there's no water fire on this, so I'm just tapping the button. What's this? Some kind of flying insects with big ears. Elephants? No. They're just some kind of weird insect, aren't they? And tortoises? No, maybe. And some strange smiling statues. Some more of these flying insect elephant things, whatever they are. But yeah, you can see this is space area. And a lot of these attack patterns are very reminiscent of the space area style attack patterns. So somebody really liked Space Area and wanted to do a Famicom version of it because there wasn't a Famicom version of Space Area. Oh wait, yes there was. Right, boss is a koala with a machine gun. Now with these bosses, it's not so much shooting the boss, it's shooting the shit that's flying around the boss, finishes them off. So. There we go. We've killed the koala. We're doing quite well. We're on to the sand stage. What's in the sand stage? Well, well, no. 
cactuses in boats of hats. Not like a barbershop quartet of cactuses, but there's far too many for that. More mines. You can see any yet? Oh, what? What is that? This thing's falling in from the sky. I can't see. That's some kind of cocoon? Anyway, we've gone now. What's that? Oh. More can fireball spitting kangaroos this time round, okay. Yeah, more of these insect things with big ears. Say what you see, vlogger, say what you see, and I'm, what I'm seeing is pretty insane. What's that? Is that a skeleton? Oh my god, yeah, skeletons. Jumping, leaping skeletons. And some more of those. Tortoises, at least I think they're tortoises. Well, they could be shit monsters for all I know. Oh crap. I think they might be armadillos rolled up. Armadillo! Right, well, we're gonna get to a boss in a second. Oh my god, the cactuses are taking off! Not big, something I expected. One of these things. It's starting to get a bit more uh, aggressive now. Oh, what the hell is that? Is that. It's like a cyclops and some fish. Avoid them. I don't think hit them. I must have hit them a couple of times there, but they didn't die. Oh, more skeletons! Oh, that would fire the bullet at me. Right, okay, boss time. And oh, it's a happy-looking lizard. Right, see if we. Oh shit! Get rid of these skeletons. No, man, I think we're dead. Well, that's a very quick look at uh, uh, animal attack thing of me. Um, it's really, really hard, and uh, you don't get any continues. But bizarre. Sega. And that about sets the scene for this. And this is Panic, otherwise known as Switch in Japan, which makes it really hard to Google. Do you know how many things they switch in the title these days? Video games? Loads of them. Okay. Right. I'm just going to play along with this. This is absolutely mad. Find the buttons that will lead you to the computer network server. Is that the computer network server? That looks like Frankenstein's monster. The idea of this game is you just gotta press buttons and shit happens. And some of the shit is mad. Like, whatever the hell happened there. No, no, I pressed the same button again. Bollocks. But some of the switches have different outcomes. I think there's a right outcome to each each event. So this time I, I won't hurry it up by trying to press the, the button in advance. Well, let's press this button. Oh, whoops. Press the middle button. Bang. Bing. Yeah. <laughs> We've only got a couple of options left now. These two buttons here. I don't know if it changes each time. It just seems a bit bizarre. And there's no clue to which one's actually right. 
Well, we've moved along, so... Oh, let's push this telephone button. Entirely sure what's going on here, but it's squashing our little man. He's getting bigger, or is the wing getting smaller? Who knows? I don't think that was the right button. What's going to happen now? <laughs> was the point of that to um, no, not to let the, the people in? So okay. I think that was successful. I mean, it's really nicely drawn. Okay, which button's going to shoot lasers? That one? Well, I don't know what happened there. I just disappeared. And now I'm behind the film camera. And now what's that? Changing rooms? Okay. Yep, I'm a sanded too, little man. And none of these buttons look any different, so it's you really don't know what's going to happen. This is such an odd game. See? Where did that all come from? Absolutely mad. Well, I think I did something right there. Okay, Imhotep's vomiting on us. <laughs> this is, I mean, at least Tree of the Punch is a game, and Animal Attack is a game. This is a thing. There's just stuff that happens. I'm, I'm, I'm glad it exists. But I've actually no idea. You've got no control over this, for example. It's not like it's all mini games. Absolutely mad. saw that coming a mile off. This does have a save game feature so if you do get really really involved in it one day I've got nothing. I've got nothing. If you get really involved in it one day you can actually save your progress which is lovely isn't it? Oh, has that moved me along to the next section? Yes, it has. Yeah, go on. Let's do some mowing. Is 
he seems also to be preoccupied with things throwing up. Oh dear, the dog's in trouble. Sorry, dog. And the house. Okay. And sometimes you get, and sometimes you get stuff like that where it just randomly it does sends you on your way. I mean, I had this before. I can't remember which button I pressed, but that one, obviously. And then we're back here again. I can't remember which one I pressed to get on from this. So it's it's absolutely really bizarre. There's going to be some kind of rhyme or reason to it, almost like a a map of that of how screens. What? Oh shit. What? I <laughs> and do, do you know what? I'm glad I've seen that. That was that that was that was fun. I'm just gonna press another button and then we'll we'll move on to the final game because this is stupid. Brilliant stupid stupidity. Oh we've managed to Move along to a TV screen thing. Go on, press the TV thing, mister. Oh, we're back with the umbrella now. There's something strangely addictive about this. I, I... Oh, shit. Strangely addictive about this, it's just, it's just really, really strange. Oh, we're back to bloody Frankenstein again. Okay, right, that's enough panic switch thing. Uh, let's make Frankenstein bomb again or something. Um, very unusual, it's on the Mega CD if you want to see if you can track it down. Like I say, don't search for the Japanese copy on eBay. Switch, because you'll never find it. Because there's other things called switches these days. Well, this is Killer Bass. And I've left this till last because I'm not entirely sure how much I'm going to get through it, being as it's a PlayStation game from Japan with probably lots of Japanese text. So this could just go one or two ways. So, yes, there's weird experiment shit going on and stuff and there is an evil bass oh my god and oh no I was going to say the bass is escaping it's, it's not a... all sorts of weird fish shit going on here that one's trying to escape that's making a bit for freedom and it looks evil oh my god right let's get fishing because this is a Fishing survival horror game? I really don't know. And round one is Sunset Park. <laughs> Enjoy your death. Okay, so we're looking to uh, fish and let's. Whoa! That's some kind of. What's the spider lure? So, yeah, if you played Sake of Us Fishing, this is sort of similar territory. with dramatic music rather than a rock soundtrack. Oh! Can I reel it in? I've really no idea what's going on. Yep. Yeah. 
I'm really not so sure how to wind this in. Oh, there's lines. Stressful. Right, I managed to do some reeling now. It's fighting me, but I've got another meter closer. Moving the joy joypad around sort of steers the fish around. Oh, and we've managed to land our killer bass. There it is. This is the Sega Bass Fishing, but vaguely horror themed. I don't know why the lure is a spider, but... Come on! You know you want it, take a bite! Come on, it's a big one! There we go, fish! Wow, fish are jumping today, Daniel! Come on, we can reel this one in nice and quick, maybe. Yeah, I saw hoping for Resident Evil the fishing game. There might be more to it than this, but uh, at the moment it's a very, very pedestrian fishing sim. It looks quite nice, but I was really hoping for really stupid things that were going to happen. It's Come on. Nearly got ya. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This one's invested. Excellent. Very dramatic fishing music. Oh no, I broke a line. Well, there we go. I'm a little disappointed this isn't as mad as I was hoping it to be. It's probably why I left it to the last, but it's a strange thing to exist, isn't it? Oh, vaguely horror themed fishing game. I'm guessing the story mode goes off on more of a tangent to how this fishing competition turns into a bloody horror. Yes. Those four weird games, what did you think of them? Comment below. Yeah, subscribe or naff off!